Hello, welcome to Sparper 101. I'm your host, Robert Rocha. I'm an instructional technology specialist with the El Paso Independent School District. Recently, we were talking about how to add interactivity into our Smart Notebook lessons. Today, though, we're going to focus more on the basic layout of Smart Notebook, and very specifically, we're going to be talking about the Gallery tab in Smart Notebook. The Gallery tab in Smart Notebook is a really cool feature that allows teachers to add images uh, to their Smart Notebook files. Now, what's really cool about Smart Notebook, though, is it contains 6,708 items in the gallery feature, which is awesome. And those gallery features include, again, images, they can be flash videos, they can be flash animations that kind of make our Smart Notebook more interesting to our students and actually helps organize information too a lot better. So let's go take a look at that gallery tab and see how, it, how it's used and how it's organized. So I'm going to go back to my Smart Board over here. And I already have a Smart Notebook file that's already opened up. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that here. And when I open that up, the Gallery tab is going to be the second tab within my Tabs feature. So I have account one, two, and the icon is going to go ahead and be a actual picture, of a picture frame. Like I think it's a little landscape gallery that it's there. Now, when I open that up, you're going to see that it's focused or it's broken down into three different sections. The very first section, as you see right on top here, is going to go ahead and be what's called the search feature. It allows you to search for items either within the gallery itself or searching for, gal for images that you may have on your desktop or, or located somewhere on your computer system. The next area that we have below, the second box, is what's called the, the folder area. I'm not exactly sure what the official name is going to be, but here I have a listing of all the items that Smart has. The 6,708 items that Smart Notebook has put in for free are all going to be organized within these different folders. And if I look at that here, I'm going to actually going to connect back to my computer here because my Smart Board doesn't really work that well sometimes. It kind of gets a little fidgety. So I'm going to use my, my mouse. Now, the next area that I have on my Smart Notebook is going to be what's called the folders area. The folders areas contain the 6,708 items that are in, in the Gallery Essential. And they kind of broke it down into different folders so it's easier for you to find that those different images that you're looking for. Let's say if you didn't want to use the search feature that's there, you kind of wanted to go and explore. Now, th how that's broken down here is uh, these different folders that's inside the, the, uh, that area is called My Content. The very first one is called My Content. And what's really neat about My Content is any image that you find within Smart Notebook or Smart, the Smart Gallery tab feature, you can go ahead and kind of favorite that picture or that image within my content so you don't have to look for it over and over again. And as the session goes on today, I'll talk about how to add images into that smart or into my content. The next item we have here is called the Gallery Essentials. If I, if I go and highlight that, again, it tells me that here in the third window down here, it tells you all the different items that are listed there. Um, I'm going to go back up to the top of this real quickly here. And it kind of breaks it down to administrative and evaluation, arts, English and language arts images, or any kind of item that I would need for my different subject areas. It kind of breaks it down all there. You can kind of see that. Special needs, sports and recreation. But then you also have below that, you have another feature called, or another folder, called Lesson Activity Toolkit 2.0. Now that is probably one of the most powerful pieces within Smart Notebook. And we're actually going to dedicate another segment to that within the Lesson Activity Toolkit. That one, again, it contains a lot of the different uh, flash animations and different videos that we can use of our students. And again, that's a very powerful tool, but we'll save a different segment for that particular, to, to go over that particular section. And if I go below that, there's also access to what's called the Smart Exchange. If I, if I wanted to look for different uh, Smart Notebook files from the Smart Exchange, it takes me directly there. It's a link to it. Uh, we also have a new link to Google 3D. So if you're looking for a 3D image that you want to put into your Smart Notebook, you can go ahead and use the Google 3D Warehouse. And again, here I did a search earlier for a bear, so it also gives my, my last researches that I have. Now, that pretty much describes what's in that very first or the middle column that's here, the middle box. The last box here is going to show all the different search results or results are within a different folder. So for instance, if I was to click on the Lesson Activity Toolkit, it breaks it down and says there are 714 items within that Lesson Activity Toolkit folder. And then it breaks it down even further for us. It's telling me that there's 299 images that I can use. There's interactive and multimedia, which is there's 164 different images that I can use for that that are interactive or flash-based animated. And my last one is my notebook file and pages. 
And on that one, there's 251 that are kind of already pre-built pages that I can go ahead and just take and drag and use within my Smart Notebook lessons. So let's go back and take a look at that search feature. Let's go back to the very top here. And as I'm looking at my search feature, notice there I've got my little search area that I have here. And if I wanted to, I can go ahead and just type in what I'm looking for. Let's say right now I wanted to look for an image of a bear. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is type in the word bear. When I click on bear, Notice now that I have two different magnifying glasses. The magnifying glass, the very first one, the blue one, allows me to search within the gallery essentials itself, within those 6,708 items. So I'm going to go ahead and do that one. Let's focus on that one here. So I'm going to go and click on that one. And here, on my bottom window, it gives me the results features that I have. And so now it's told me that I found 52 items for the word bear. And so I have a related folder. It says there's 11 folders that are related to bears. And I have 26 pictures. So if I click on the drop down menu here, I can see I have all these different pictures of bears or anything that was tagged as a bear. It could be related to a bear theme. Now, you may say here uh, there's a bed. Why would that be a bear? Well, it's tagged for a bed for mama bear. You can actually do a whole screenplay of the three little bears, all that di different images within Smart Notebook for that. So that's kind of really cool for our younger teachers out there, our younger grade teachers. Now, if I want to go back up here and I want to go ahead and, and not look at my pictures, I want to see if there's any notebook files, I'm going to click on that one again. And now it says interactive and multimedia. If I look at that one, now I see a picture of a bear, but it's got a speaker on it. That allows a bear that has a bear sound. So if I was to go ahead and drag that one over, notice now I have a little bitty uh, speaker that's right there. If I click on that speaker, it gives me a bear sound. I'm not sure if I, our, the way our studio is set up, we can hear that. But if you were in your, in your computer at home or at school, you would definitely hear that bear sound that's there. Let me try it one more time. I think it's made the sound. I couldn't, I couldn't hear it in my studio, but I think it does work for us. So that's great. But I'm going to go back to my galleries tab. My computer is acting kind of funny today. Notice that my gallery images are all gone. But that's OK. I'm not going to worry about it. I'm just going to click on that image here. It takes me back to my gallery and it rebooted up all my pictures, so we're in good shape. And so now, again, if I wanted something, let's say I went back to my pictures and I really like this cute little bear over here. I really like that one. He's my favorite bear. So let's say I found that bear and I want to go ahead now and say, well, geez, I don't want to continue to be looking for that bear over and over again. What I can go and do now is drag that bear into, if I can get it here. I, I dragged my cursor over the gallery tab, and now I'm going to highlight. I'm still holding it down, and now I'm going to open up my content. I'm just going to let go of my image. If I let go now, if I go to pictures and files, there's my bear. So let me go and try that for you one more, one more time. Let's go ahead and take the other bear that I have here, the multimedia bear. Let's go ahead and drag him into my content of my gallery. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the bear, and now notice I got the editor that's up. I'm going to go ahead and click and hold. I'm going to drag them to the gallery tab. Notice I've got that little round circle there. That's fine. But notice here as I drag up to my content, that uh, circle with the line through it now becomes a plus sign. And I can go ahead and drop it under my content. And now if I look here under my content, under in interactive and multimedia, I find my bear. So that's how I go. I can save my material that I'm looking for over and over again that I can go ahead and put it there. It'll be easier for me to find once again. Now, if I wanted to find an image that's on my actual laptop that was not within Smart Notebook that I wanted to add in my Smart Notebook feature, notice when I go back to my gallery or my search feature, there is a smaller, to the, to the right of the bigger magnifying glass, there is a, a yellow one, There's like a wooden handle magnifying glass. That, if I click on that one, it, if I, it opens up a drop down menu and it has add current file my content or add other files my content. It's so a third one down. I can go to add other files to my content. I click on that one, and it opens up to my pictures, or I can search for it within my, my windows here. And let's say I wanted the sunset. I click on that one. I open it. And now if I go to my pictures and files, there's my sunset. I can go and drag that out into my background here or add it to my image that I have. So that's pretty much how we use the different features within the gallery tab. We hope you like that, and that pretty much wraps up our show for today. All right, bye-bye.